Hi, this is Alan from the Sitefinity SDK team. In this video, I'll demonstrate the usage of the external error logging project with Sitefinity to log errors into a Raygun reporting system. I have here a running Sitefinity site. I named it External Logging Demo. I also have it open in Visual Studio. Here's my solution, and it's my Sitefinity web application and that I've added the external logging project to my solution. First let's expand the Sifinity web app and explore the references. So let's expand it and naturally you can see that I've added um, the reference to the external logging project. Next I'll show the web config file. I've added the Raygun configuration section named Dragon settings. Here it is. And right below it, we have the Reagan application API key, which connects to the Reagan application. Now back to the browser. Let's open the Reagan site. I'll go to the Reagan dashboard. I'm already logged in. And we can see that at the moment there are no errors logged, so congratulations for that. Now, since Sitefinity never has code errors ever, and we'll have to produce some errors artificially. In order to do that, let's add a new item to my Sitefinity web application project. This will be an ASPX web form. And let's call it Error Generator. Here it is. Add it to the project. Now let's go to the code behind C Sharp file. And in the page load event, I'll just throw a new argument exception with some sample message. Now let's build the solution and run the error generator page. Build succeeded. We'll wait for its first run. Here it is. And here it is. My exception is thrown as expected, which is great. Now we can see the details. That's enough with that. Back to the Reagan dashboard. Let's refresh it. Scroll down. And we can see here is my exception being logged. If I click it and scroll down to the exception details, we get details like the URL that generated the error. Down here we have the stack trace. Let's go to the error details tab. You can see more details about the exception, for example, the message that was sent. Now let's go back to Sitefinity's backend. Let's try to generate an ASP.NET error. Let's go to Pages. I have already a page here named Home. I'll open it in a new tab. And yes, it's the famous Hello World page. Now let's try to navigate to a non-existing address like home2, which would of course throw a 404 error, as expected. Now let's go back to the Reagan dashboard and reload it. And down here, here's our file does not exist error, and again clicking it we get the details of the exception below, the message, the URL that generated it, and other relevant data. And that's how easy it is to integrate an external error logger, in this case uh, our sample project um, with Reagan system to log errors right from Sitefinity.